What are the four possible outcomes of an ERISA disability claim? Hello, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board certified disability attorney and author of the book Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery, Improve Your Claim. When most people approach me about litigating their ERISA medical disability claim, they don't really understand how the case might work out. After all, you either win or lose, right? Well, not necessarily. In fact, there are actually four different potential outcomes that you might face if you decide to go this route. Here's how I lay it out for potential clients when they ask me to represent them in this type of claim. The four different types of outcomes you might have are as follows. First, you might get a settlement. Instead of going to court to fight your claim, the insurance carrier might just agree to give you money so that you'll drop your case and consider the case settled. Often in these types of situations, you'll be required to turn in your insurance policy and find a new carrier. This is called a buyout and can be fairly lucrative depending on the situation. Second, the case could be decided on what's called a motion for summary judgment. This is where one side or the other believes that the legal evidence in their case is so strong and in their favor that they'll basically say to the judge that they want the judge to decide the case without the case going to trial. This can be a good or bad thing depending on the evidence because once summary judgment is requested, you can't add anything new to the record. Three, a bench trial. You don't have the right to a trial by jury in an ERISA case, but you can have the case tried in front of a judge, which is called a bench trial. In these types of trials, the judge will determine what has and hasn't already been decided based on the outcome of the ERISA claim, and then use the trial to examine the remaining issues. And finally, the judge could remand your case for a new administrative appeal. If the judge doesn't think there's enough evidence for the case to be decided, he or she has the power to send it back down to the administrative appeal level so the case can be processed over again. The idea is that both sides are given more time to strengthen their case. Because there are so many potential outcomes and variables, it's important that you work with an experienced disability attorney. Mark Whitehead & Associates is a national disability law firm representing disabled individuals in all 50 states. More information on this topic can be found in my free ebook, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.